so here's Green Hell. We like Green Hell. Never played it before, so this will be fun. Start with the tutorial. Day one. This this font kind of reminds me of Granny. Okay. I'm here. Hey! I made it! <laughs> Is everything all right? I think so. Yeah! You can come up! Um... You do know you have the walkie-talkie, right? Oh yeah, we have a walkie-talkie. Um... Oh, okay, you can I see. come up. Just go ahead. Mm -hmm. I need to find something in, in my backpack. What is it she needs then? Um, nah, she's just lazy. She wants a nap. I bet you want to nap some more. I know you all too well. <laughs> oh, my oh, she actually did need a nap as well. I can't hide anything from you. But why? Very well. We can catch up, yes? The path leads through that canyon. Mm -hmm. I know. Alright, it's fine. Um, ooh, what was that? Stone, I'll take a stone. I'm assuming I should go from here then. I can talk to her again. Oh, uh, have you tied down the boat? Jake, um, <laughs> I know this might sound stupid under the circumstances, um, but I am glad we came back here. Bah. Yeah, I feel you. The place is beautiful. Still. I'm a human up now. We can't forget what we came here for in the first place, I know. But as soon as we're settled in, I am off to the Devil Pocket Village. And what if they will not speak to us? Come on, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're a phenomenal interpreter. If anyone can communicate with them, it's you. Higgins. So, from what I've gathered so far, uh, we're gonna go talk to some, like, a village. I'm assuming, because we're in a jungle, some sort of tribe. What's this? Okay, I found the tent. Is everything alright? Yes, of course it is. The camp looks impressive. They put up a tent for us. Looks like everything's ready. Soul Trail always delivers. At first glance, it looks like we have everything we might need. Day two, granny style. Well, that's everything. We're officially <sighs> settled in. You know what that means, don't you? I remember the agreement, but maybe you should... Maybe we should reconsider this. I'm not sure it's the best idea for you to visit them alone. How do you know? You know we have to do this. It's the only way to make them talk. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. It'll be all right. Better for right, some wood. Let's have a romantic dinner. Romantic canned beans. <laughs> oh, canned beans is really it's romantic. What are we talking about? This man's just... Nah. This man is not normal. Like, beans are so romantic. You can't even be sarcastic about that. Beans are top tier. Cold seats open. Oh, that's cool. Select notebook. Find fire. Oh, I see. It's all gone. Oh, I can't put it inside. Nope. Oh, I can't. <laughs> it being red might suggest Small sticks. Do I just? Oh, it's not. I hope there's no birds coming after me if I take that. What do I need? Where are the sticks? How do I get sticks? Can I just punch a tree? Nope. 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 It's not Minecraft. I can't punch a tree. I don't get small sticks. I'm just I'm not finding any. Maybe there's some I missed. Oh, is that a machete? Yes. Oh, I missed a machete. That makes so much more sense. Sticks and small sticks. Honey, I can't seem to find a bag or two. Are you sure you brought everything? No, I'm looking yeah, for everything it. the porters left. Why? Is anything missing? I'm not sure yet. Uh, but it feels that way. Yeah, sticks then I guess. Do I just? Oh, I do. Long stick and little sticks. But can I only carry one stick at a time? I can't. I'll just leave that there for now then. I need... Alright. Oh, I... Maybe it's only long ones that carry like spears or 
or some sort of log from the forest. I see. What does expand do? Car base. Oh! Oh, I see. I can. Can I. Does that mean I can then do that again for Soul 6? Ah, I see. Alright, I see. That's just made things about a thousand times more easier. I need one more. So just harvest one more. Oh, now I need regular sticks. So if I harvest this big one, I should get normal ones, right? Yes, I should. I need to go find more. Well, looks like everything's ready. Mia, can you bring me a lighter? Um, remember when I mentioned we seemed to be lacking some equipment? <sighs> Don't tell me. Yeah, we have no fire. Not a single lighter, nor a box of matches. Uh, we, we ordered both. Did you check everywhere? I did. You need to do it the old-fashioned way. Well, not the best start of the expedition. Let's end to open. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, so I need... Why can't I... Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I see. I see. I see. Oh, oh bing down. What do I need? A stick and a small stick. I should have them both, right? So if I just... That and that? Oh, yeah. Hmm. I need to find something dry. Right click on it. Oh, use. What? Drag a bird's nest fiber with dry leaves. Oh, I did pick up a bird's nest earlier. Uh... There it is, I just put that there. I'm assuming we then put this ember on the fire. Yeah, pop that in there. Yes! Nice! Oh Mia! The fire is burning. Coming! Give me a minute. How do you do it? Hmm? What? You seem so calm. I am calm. I don't know how to explain it, but strangely, it feels safer here. And there. Oh, I don't know. Jaguars, venomous spiders, snakes. Let's not forget the scorpions. A <laughs> mere ant's bite hurts like hell. I am well aware of that. But still, we have a chance to achieve something. Make a difference. At home, all we could have done was be helpless and wait. I prefer the wilderness. Um, uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm optimistic. If we're gonna find answers, hell, it'll be here. This time we need to pay attention to the slightest details. Last time I must have missed something. Last time, you were only making general observations. This time, we have a specific goal. Nonetheless, I'm a bit worried about you meeting the Yabawaka. What is the Yabawaka? will be fine. I need to go alone. We already agreed that's the only way. Besides, they don't seem to like you. They don't seem to like outsiders. They shot arrows at a military chopper. Hard to blame them. Since you published your book, they've been under siege by the media, scientists, doctors. The World Health Alliance established a medical camp and probably performed research, violating the tribe's taboos. But I will convince them. I have to. I wonder if I want to learn more about our previous visit. Ten. What am I just looking for? Does it not tell me what I'm looking for? Oh. Recording number one. So, I'm on the expedition with my wife Mia. Hey Mia. Hey Mia. Say hello. Oh. Hello. Tent is up, so we can start working right away. I'll focus on indexing new plant species and Mia. Can you explain what you're gonna do? Uh, well. Okay, that's all for now. It was Mia and Jake Higgins, day one. So I'm still confused about the the Apple Walker is. Vine of the Soul. The effect of psychedelic substances usually lasts several hours. In that time, the participants of the ceremony experience a spiritual revelation. 
Ayahuasca is to be taken only in the presence of a shaman who also serves as a guide. Well, we'll just read through. Just read it for me. Oh, I see. Makes it easier to read just in case they can't understand the handwriting. Okay, I get it. School painted warriors. Mysterious painted warriors appeared yesterday on the river. Bankers who floated by. Who are they? Our friends. The Yabawaka seem afraid to talk about them. Oh, is the Yabawaka that um tribe that they're on about? They're uh, talking to a meeting. The one that we ruined by publishing a book. I'm at the village, call me over the radio when you wake up. Yes, there's a little gift for you, love me up. Where's the gift? Oh, right in front of my face. I'm gonna do this Hello? first. Hello? Mia? Hey, sleepyhead. Finally up? Oh, I am finally awake. Where are you Where at? are you? I should reach the village shortly. Remember, if you see a totem, do not go any farther. Those are clear warnings. I know, I know. I read your book. Well, I was hoping we'd have breakfast together. You surprised me. That's all. <laughs> Admit it. You thought I forgot your birthday, didn't you? Well, I didn't. Ah, it's our birthday, so there's a gift from the table. I'm assuming it's just this cool-looking apple watch. Nah, just kidding. This is, um... I watch YouTube on this. Exactly what I wanted. It even has solar batteries. And a macro element scanner. Check yourself to see if you're not missing any. We've been here only a few days. But stress can wear you out. Tell me about it. Right. Hold F to look at the smartwatch. Oh, well, that's cool. Oh. Oh, it beeps. I just felt like I could do that. Search the tent for something nutritious. Um, I've, I've seen a protein bar, I'll take that. How do I eat it? Do I go on? Oh, I see. Uh, Cormia. Well rested and well fed. Perfect. And keep it that way. We need that brain of yours working at peak performance. I'll try to take good care of it. Have you found them yet? And, as expected, they don't want to talk. They behave as if I am not here. But they haven't driven you away. That's a good sign. You need to convince them that you're one of them. Mm-hmm. Agreed. That seems to be the right course of action. I will sleep on the edge of the village and only eat what I can find. Oh, okay. She's just gonna act like a tribe's person so they start to trust her more. Okay, that makes sense. Just be careful, just then. be careful. Please. I will. But if I am to live like them, we can't be talking so often. You're right. You're suspicious of technology. If anything goes wrong, I'll leave the village and get you on the radio. Otherwise, you can assume everything is just fine and there is no need to worry. <sighs> Alright. Let's focus on the goal. I'll be focusing on indexing new plant species. I think I saw a few new specimens around here. Check the cork board. Where? Oh, right there, I see. So, the dart frog. Don't touch it, obviously, because I've heard that it poisons. And right there, it does say, This deadliest amphibium on the planet is completely harmless for the natives thanks to Cambo ritual. South African tribes catch a living frog to extract the poison, then they puncture burned children's skin with small doses of frog poison until they become immune to it. I mean, that's quite smart. It just means this frog can't do anything. It's quite smart, but a bit of a weird way to give it, anyway. The Yabawaka, ah, oh, it was the tribe, it was them. Living in the deep interior of the Amazon, the Yabawaka is one of about 80 lost tribes. Due to a fear of the modern and cruel world, they mostly remain isolated. Will they welcome us? They are the key, and the only lead as to why we're here. And I still don't know why our character's here, so hopefully we'll figure that out soon. The lost tribe, this is their land, their heritage, as it has been for thousands of years. Everyone who comes here needs to respect this. It's been three years since we saw them last. They often react with fear to the unknown. It's crazy, but we really need their help. Our entire plan depends on it. Okay. Rainforest mammals, they're harmless. Behind all the danger, there's still so much beauty within this jungle. So there's, so there's capybaras, there's armadillos, and there's a tapir. Many small mammals are a food source for the indigenous locals. 
rich in proteins and fats. They are a great complement to fruits and vegetables. Makes sense. Tobacco plants leaves are great for healing venom bites. I, I think I should be remembering this, but I know I'm going to forget in like five minutes. But what else can they heal? I saw this plant on the north side of the camp. After climbing a rock, there are plenty of them. It's a good place to start. So remember, tobacco plants cure. Go north and find a tobacco plant. Um, which way is north? Scroll mouse wheel to change the options. Oh, I see. So I head this way. Oh, I just got to climb this rope, I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh, we just felt. I know I was there. supposed to not call, but a line snapped and I fell down a good thirty feet. Yasmio, are, are you okay? I'm not sure. Hold on. I'll walk away a bit so they can't hear you. Let me know once you have checked yourself. I can't see my body. Oh, how is it to open the wheel menu? Oh, this is cool. I see. So I actually have to check myself out oh, before. Like, that's definitely oh. not good. Ouch. What about my legs? Anything wrong with my legs? I'm not seeing anything wrong. Right, there we are. I just need to call Mir again. Uh, it's it's alright. Nothing's broken. Just scratches and bruises. Nothing to worry about. In the jungle, every scratch can be dangerous. You need to patch everything up. You remember how to do it? I... nope, can't say I do. I can't see. Say that I remember. Look for Molineria. It has uh, long leaves without any markings and is surrounded by yellow flowers. Okay, I'll go look for it. You should have it in your notepad. Call me when you've treated your wound. Roger that. Over and out. <laughs> Alright, so Molineria leaf and that looks oh just green with these yellow flowers oh is this some right here i think it is how do i oh cut down i need the mache that makes more sense was it just that yes oh right, i see oh i see i actually have to come here and press the uh backpack icon so where is it, it was there do i just need to put that on there <laughs> i chopped it okay so oh i put it on the circle that makes a bit more sense Cool, Mia. Here I am. All wrapped up nicely. Does it hurt? Nah, it doesn't hurt. No, not at all. Um, not much. Good. Hopefully it will heal fast. So, how are you doing? I'll be initiated in a few days. I am optimistic. I expect to be treated as one of their own after that. And... I should be able to ask some questions then. Some elders are opposed to this, though. Luckily, Chief Kuini is on my side. Why are they opposed? I think... I think they were divided even before I joined them. The Chief wanted to approach the World Health Alliance peacefully, but a few of the elders insisted on fighting. Now, the Jabahuaca basically have two factions. Sounds dangerous, Mia. Be careful. I'm not in any danger. Told you, I'm optimistic. No, oh, they Jake, say too. Please come in. Jake! I need you here. Jake, please. Please answer me. She in trouble? Mia? What happened? I'm, Mia, I'm guessing that's a yes to me. Which way do I go? Mia! Uh, give me a direction, I've got to go save her. What the hell's going on over there? Nice if I knew where over there was. I'm just going to run this way. Find Mia. Oh, never mind, I just get teleported there. I'm assuming that's them there. Is she being attacked by any chance? Or?
Are we dead? If we're not dead, we're definitely bleeding out. Hello? Oh, we're waking up. Jake, what the hell is going on there? Wait, she's fine. She sounds fine. Come on, speak to me, Jake. Uh, come on, Jake, we can make it to the radio. Is it a plane? How long have we been out? Is that a rescue plane by the chance, or is it just a plane flying over waking us up? the end of the tutorial so um yeah that's also going to be the end for this one so yeah bye 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 bye